Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. Um, and I haven't been feeling very festive, and I don't know why. I feel like this year has just flown by. I mean, every year for the past few years at least has seemed to just gone by so quickly, but this year has gone by so fast that it doesn't feel like the holidays at all. Um, you guys know we decorated for fall and we have yet to decorate for Christmas. It just doesn't feel Christmassy. I don't know why. I don't like it. So I did take down some of the um, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, fall decor. Uh, I still have my pumpkins up over there on the shelf, as you guys can see. But other than that, I have taken down everything else and I have taken the pillows off of the couch. There's no more fall um, decor other than those few pumpkins over on the shelf. I figured might as well slowly put out some Christmas decor. Don't get me wrong, I love Christmas. It's my favorite time of year. Not because of like gifts or anything like that. It's just everybody seems so much nicer and more chill and the cooler weather is just nice for a change and I don't know. I just, I'd always have loved this time of year. So yeah, it's a little sad for it to not feel Christmassy because it's my favorite time of year. So we're going to try to make ourselves feel a little bit more Christmassy by putting out a few Christmas things. A lot of them are like way up on the top shelf of our spare bedroom closet. So I will have to wait for Justin to get those because I cannot safely reach them. Um, I feel like I'm just going to have everything fall down <laughs> and break something or hurt myself or, you know, so we'll wait for Justin to get those things down. But what we do have are some Christmas pillows. Um, I think we have four. We actually probably have like five or six, but um, these four were all together and I don't think we need more than four. I mean, I guess you can never have too many pillows. Anyways, here's one of them. It's a cute little um, buffalo check um, plaid, whatever you want to call it truck with some trees in the back. Cute, cute. And then this one we've had for I think a few years, Justin's mom and dad gave us this one. It's one of those like sequin pillows. It says joy. And then if you go like this, it's just turns into silver. So pretty cute. Um, obviously it's not as cozy to lay on this one, but it does have a really nice soft back. So if we do use this one, we just flip it around, but it's cute that it says joy and um, you know, we can use it for looks. If you hear that, there's a bell on one of these. These ones are brand new. We just got them, I think a, like a month or so ago. Um, and I'm excited for them because they match. The buffalo check on the other pillow is the little Christmas trees on this one, which is cute. I know buffalo check has been in style for like a few years and people are kind of over it at this point, but I still think it's cute, so I don't really care. The bells will probably get annoying, but it is a super cushiony, soft, pillow and then the last one which we also just got this year again is buffalo check it says merry and bright and then it just has this cute little like wreath kind of thing around the letters and then this side is just solid red and it's super super soft i love it so those are our pillows i'm gonna get those set up on the couch okay i mean it's cute um, the pillows are all different sizes, so they kind of don't go that well together as far as that goes, but I think it's cute. Let me show you. Ignore the mess on the end of the couch. I'm fixing to clean it up, but this is what it looks like. I like it. I like it a lot. So yeah, pillows are done. Maybe it'll make Justin feel like good too, that it's decorated with Christmas because who, sorry. Trying to grab my phone and I dropped it. Who doesn't love Christmas? I mean, seriously. So I feel like him coming home to a nice Christmassy decorated house would be a nice surprise. Um, like I said, the Christmas tree is in the front closet in the front room, um, like in the front hall entryway. And it's, there's millions of golf clubs in there and all a bunch of other things piled on top. So <laughs> I'm gonna let Justin help me get that out as well. But I was wondering if I have any decor that's not at the top. 
Oh, what is this? Ooh, okay. I found our little Christmas, um, the little towel things. What are these called? I don't know. But either way, um, we've got that one with the little gingerbread house on it. We've got this one with the gingerbread man on it. And then we have this one that just says, what does that say? Mistletoe kisses, candy cane wishes. Cute. They're a little wrinkly. We've stored them in a bag. Um, so they got wrinkly. Got those started in the washer. And now I need to clean my, my um, stove top a little bit. Sorry for the pitch black there. I cleaned house yesterday. I just... We get home from door dashing so late that I, like, okay, we rush to eat dinner because then we have to go door dash. And then, like, as soon as we get out of eating, we leave the house so we don't have time to clean up then. And then um, when we get home, it's super late and it's like 9.30, between 9.30 and 10, depending on how well the night goes, which last night was pretty good, actually. I made 38 bucks in like two hours and 40 minutes, so not bad. Justin like gets his shower and gets ready for bed at 10, so um, I come home, I pack his lunch and put away my lunch, and by then I'm like, I don't feel like cleaning the kitchen. So that's why there's always kitchen cleaning to do, it seems like every video that I film, um, because it's just such a rush to get things done in the evening that I just wait till the next day to finish cleaning up my kitchen. But anyways, with that being said, I'm gonna work on that and then uh, I'm probably gonna try to cook a little bit earlier tonight because we wanna go DoorDash and see how well it's going for the night. And then we are going to celebrate with Justin's side of the family tomorrow, um, morning slash afternoon-ish, I think. I'm not really sure. Um, so we're making broccoli, cheese, and rice casserole. So I think I'm gonna make that probably tonight or maybe early in the morning. Um, and then we can just reheat it when we get there. So we'll see. Okay guys, so it is at 11 o'clock at night. We went door dashing. I think I made like 22 bucks. Started out really, really slow. And then we had about an hour of pretty good back-to-back -back orders. I think we had like three back-to-back -back orders. And we should have stopped there because we didn't get anything else after that and we waited another hour so it was slow I was hoping to be busy because nobody wants to cook you know because they're already cooking Thanksgiving stuff but everybody was out getting their own stuff like literally it was so busy in town so we just wasn't we weren't as lucky as we hoped we would be but hey we still made 22 bucks so I'm not mad about that um but now I'm gonna try to make the broccoli cheese and rice casserole that, that me and Justin are bringing to his family's um Thanksgiving dinner or lunch for tomorrow. So um, I was gonna ask my mom for her recipe and I forgot and it's late. So I texted her, but she didn't text me back. I'm assuming she's probably asleep. Um, Cause she usually goes to sleep right after she like starts her turkey and um, wakes up pretty early. So um, she leaves her turkey in overnight pretty much. And she like checks on it through the night anyways. What was I even saying? I don't know her recipe, so I just looked some up online and they're all very, very similar. Hopefully it turns out good because it's my first time like making it. I've made broccoli, cheese, and rice with like chicken, like casserole type thing, and it's gotta be similar, right? So we'll see. So I actually ended up just going with three cups because when I put it in here, it seems like quite a lot. Um, like I said, it's just a side. So even if there's just enough for everybody to have a sample, it should be fine. So I've never made rice in the Instapot, I don't think. Um, so we're gonna try it out. I found a thing to follow um, for long grain white rice, which is what I have. It says to cook on low pressure for 10 minutes and to use a one to one and a half rice water ratio. So I've got three cups in here, which would mean that I need four and a half cups of water, I do believe. So I'm gonna add the water in here and then we'll get it cooking. Four and a half cups of water going in. 
While the rice is cooking, I'm gonna get some broccoli going. I'm just using frozen, you can use fresh frozen, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, now my mom texts me back. Now she wants to text me back. I'm just kidding. Let's see what she says. Okay, so she basically makes it the same way people online do. I remember how to make it, but for some reason I was forgetting the cream of chicken. So good thing I have cream of chicken because I didn't get it for this recipe, but I have some for another recipe I was going to make. So I'll just have to get more later. But yeah. Um, and add some milk. Okay, so basically the recipe I'm following should be good to go because it calls for all that stuff. She says she's still at making pies. <laughs> she's crazy. Um, I guess I'm up cooking too, so. Okay, so I just finished making the rice. And it actually turned out pretty good. Let's see if I can show you a good steamy scoop full. It's nice and fluffy. Now I'm gonna shut my broccoli off and I think I'm gonna chop it up a little bit because it's actually in pretty big chunks. That way it's a little easier to eat, you know? Okay, I forgot to film the rest of me making it, but I literally just added um, a little over a cup of milk just because I measured out a cup and there was just a little bit left, so I just poured it all in there. Um, and then I did half a block of Velveeta cheese, diced up, put in some garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. Not too much salt because the Velveeta is obviously pretty salty, so just a little touch of salt. And then a can of cream of chicken and then the broccoli and rice. Mixed it all up as best I could. My hand felt like it was gonna fall off mixing all that heavy rice and cheese, but it is now in the oven. It's after midnight, I think, at this point. I have my phone, so let me see. Yeah, 12.05 in the morning, at night, however you wanna look at it. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna let this bake for a little bit because we'll have to put it in the oven when we get to their house anyways to reheat it tomorrow so I'm just gonna cook it um, for I don't know how long maybe like 20 minutes I'm just guesstimating <laughs> so I'm gonna let it cook if I don't remember to show you the what it looks like tonight I'm sure I'll film a little bit of the food tomorrow so you guys can see a little bit of everything but I think that's gonna be it for me tonight I'm ready for bed Justin's been asleep for like two hours on the couch Good morning guys, it is the next day, it is Thanksgiving day. I know you'll see this either on Thanksgiving day if I have time to edit it later, probably won't, or maybe the day after. But either way, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Um, we are on our way now to go to Justin's family's first, and then we'll probably stop by my mom's and Matt's to visit with my dad and Matt, and then my mom, uh, mom's house to visit with her. So, we have a long day ahead, but... Yeah, we're on our way. We should be there in about 15 minutes. And I just wanted to, you know, start this portion of the vlog. Sorry for the yellow lighting. Did that fix it a little bit? I don't know. Anyways, I haven't had a chance to film. We went to Justin's grandma's and his mom and dad were there. And then she got surprised with some other family. So I didn't feel that comfortable filming. I think I got like a, a two second clip of my plate. <laughs> um... But we had a good time. It was nice to see everybody. Definitely nice to spend some time with Justin's family. And, um, you know, we don't always get to go have Thanksgiving with them. So it was nice. But now we're just going to go. My, or my dad just came over and had some leftovers that we brought from there. And we watched a movie and hung out for a bit. Now we're going to go to my mom's. It is 6 o'clock at night. So we probably won't stay there too long because Justin does work tomorrow. And we got to get home and get, you know, the house <laughs> a little bit cleaned up. It's been chaos since last night when I cooked dinner and then we went door dashing and then I cooked the Thanksgiving stuff um and then just left the kitchen a mess and we've been gone all day so I need to clean up a little bit so that is the plan but I just wanted to catch you guys up a little bit I haven't really filmed much of anything because we've just been enjoying family time and relaxing Justin took a little nap while me and my dad were watching the movie we watched uh Four Christmases it's a classic you gotta watch it every year it's a really good, funny movie. Um, but yeah, anyways, we're waiting on Matt to come over because he's gonna ride with us. And we're gonna head over there and snack on some more food and hang out with mom for a little bit. It is 8.18. 
Justin and I just got home from hanging out with mom. It was fun. We had a good time. We watched the ending of the Cowboys game, which was not a good time. As a Cowboys fan, I feel like I can say this because obviously I support them. But they always F up in like the la at the last minute. I mean, they always F up a lot of the game, not just last minute. But when it's a really close game like that, I don't know. They choke. They do. And I feel like I can say that because, again, I'm a fan. So it's okay for me to say it. But anyways, um, right now I'm enjoying a piece of pumpkin pie. There's two on here because one's for Justin. I don't actually like pumpkin pie all that much, but it's not bad. Um, it's probably my like the last pie that I would go for at Thanksgiving. But for some reason, I wanted to try it, and it's it's not too bad. Uh, we shared um, this pumpkin pumpkin pie came from Justin's parents, and we took it over and shared it with everyone else. So we each just got a slice, and I'm trying to see how I feel about it. It's not too bad. What's your guys' favorite? dessert for Thanksgiving let me know mine would have to be either cherry dump cake or pecan pie probably pecan pie but it's a close close one but yeah we've had a really good Thanksgiving it's so nice to see everybody and get to spend time with everyone I didn't get to see my little brother um he's he spent the day with his wife's um family so maybe we'll see him another day but other than that we got to see everybody it was fun we had a good time, we had good food, we had good laughs, good memories, and that's what it's all about, you know? Sorry if the heater is loud, but guys, it is the next day. And I didn't film anything else because we were literally in food comas, like, you know, everyone is after Thanksgiving. And we, Justin played the game, and I literally laid down and watched videos until like 11 and then went to sleep, so. Yeah, that was pretty much it. I don't think I filmed very much at all in this video, but I still wanted to post it for you guys. Are you guys Black Friday shopping today? Let me know. Online, in person, what you doing? I don't really have a reason to Black Friday shop. I only need Christmas presents for two more people, um, which is my mom and our granny, Justin's granny. So everyone else we have shopped for. And so we're almost done. I have ideas for my mom, but not for granny. So... Um, yeah, I don't know. She's hard to shop for. So we'll see what happens. But with that being said, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you all enjoyed. Again, we hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.